Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video comes from a sovereign citizen in Oregon. He's been stopped for speeding and he believes the police don't have jurisdiction over him because he's traveling not driving. So shenanigans ensue. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Officer Arco from Police Department. Just let you know conversation is being recorded. Did you not see my lights on back there for about a mile and a half now? No, I didn't, but that's not my fault necessarily. I've got something in my backseat. Right, well, it's blaring my siren too. Yeah. I so. saw a car pull over and then I pulled over and then I saw you in my rear view mirror. Well, it is your fault. If you can't use your interior mirrors for whatever reason, you should rely more on your side mirrors. But that's not really the problem here, is it? You just didn't want to stop because, as we will see in the video, you don't believe the police have jurisdiction to stop you. Uh, so the reason for the stop is because of your speed. Do you know how fast you were going? Um, no, less than 80 for sure. Okay, well that's not the speed limit. <laughs> speed limit's at 55, so I got you on radar going 76. But even okay. when I was behind you trying to get you stopped, you were going about 80. Okay. So is there I don't know the reason? problem though. What do you I, don't, mean? I don't know what, why is that a problem. The speed limit's 55. Yeah, I know, but is that universal or is that a uniform commercial code? No, that's, that's Oregon revised statutes. Statutes. Yes. But that's... Oregon state law. No, but a law is not a statute. It so is. is it a statute or is it a law? That's what our laws here in Oregon are called, the Oregon revised statutes. If you'd like to look them up. A sovereign citizen looking up state law. Good luck with that. Soft sits don't get their information from credible sources. That's why you believe statutes aren't law. Do you have your driver's license, your registration proof insurance on you? No, I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Right. And so you are operating a motor vehicle in the state of Oregon. It's not a motor vehicle. It's an automobile. This, this is a motor vehicle. It's only a motor vehicle under the motor vehicle code, which is for drivers. Have you ever I'm heard not something driver. called the uh, I'm not a Assembly driver. of Crimes Act for the United States federal statutes? What crime have I committed? I'm sorry, I'm asking you if you've ever heard of the Assimilative Crimes Act, that, that no, federal but, law recognizes state law. No, but I'm asking you right, what So right what now, you're, this is a violation, that's why you're being stopped. Of a code or a statute. Of a law, here in Oregon. You said statute. That's what they're called here. Okay, but for a driver, I'm yes. not trying to argue with you, but- You what, are arguing with me. No, 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 no. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is- I'm I gonna ask you to, to take nope, this. I need to see your driver's license. No, you don't, because I'm not a driver. A driver is someone who's in the commission of... Oh, right. I need to see your vehicle's registration and insurance as well. No, you don't. Yes. Because this is my private If you don't property. provide me with that information, your vehicle is liable, liable to liable. be Liable. That's fine. I accept liability. I'll be right liability. back with you. Thank you. Go ahead and find that. Can you also notify your supervisor that I'm here? There's the obligatory call for a supervisor, which never helps their case. And that isn't about to change today. I'm not a driver. I'm not a driver. I don't consent to you calling me a driver. I'm not a driver. Is that a uniform commercial code? Do you think he's trying to convince himself or his audience? Either way, that tired script won't be saving you today. So, I'm still waiting for your insurance. I'm waiting for you to return my passport to me. I'm holding on to that until the conclusion of this traffic stop. Do you have your insurance for the vehicle? I, my insurance is my property. This vehicle is my property. I am not a driver. I do not consent to being called a driver because I am a traveler. Are we in agreement no, that I am a man? Not. Are we I in agreement? I need to see your insurance. Otherwise, First of all, please otherwise, don't yell at me. I am going to tow your vehicle. Then I'm going to request your you supervisor. As driver, I'm not a driver. You as the driver. I don't. First of all, do you see me hauling passengers for hire? Am I hauling goods for service? I am not a driver. I'm not a bus driver. I'm not a truck driver. I'm not an Uber driver. I'm not a it taxi. Matter. Yes, it does. Operating a motor vehicle I'm operating. A I'm operating my own personal right now, property. In the state of Oregon, I'm operating my own personal state of property. Is a separate violation. We are not, not in the state of. Uninsured. You we're are not in the state of Oregon. No, right now. I'm not uninsured. Okay. I'm well, let me in. See your insurance. I'm not in. Because I don't have no way to verify that. You don't have if to I can't verify. verify that, you don't. I'm towing your vehicle. You don't have you to verify that? because we don't have a contract to do business. Okay. I'll I do not. No, listen. That, I'll be listen. Back with you. I'm gonna need your supervisor down here right now. I'm listen. Supervisor. 
We don't have a contract to do business. How ridiculous does that sound? Can you imagine if that was true? You could basically do anything without any repercussions, like speeding 76 in a 55. Involved in or causing accidents wouldn't be a problem. You could just say, I didn't sign a contract with the state, so the law doesn't apply to me. It's ridiculous. I'm not a driver, I'm a traveller. Were you able to contact your supervisor like I asked? Okay, I will talk to my other. Thank you very much. Sorry, I was going to step out of the vehicle for me, please. No, you are under arrest for failure to carry and present. Open no, the door. No, listen to me. Open the I, door now. You are under property. arrest. I need my property. You are under arrest. I'm going to show you the first. Open the door. No. Hey, hey, hey. No, Open no, no. the door. No, 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 no. You do not have consent to enter into my property without. Well, guess what? You're under listen. arrest. Listen. No, I'm not under arrest. Where's your supervisor? Give me an extra I have. Crime. Open the door. I have. I'm going to. Open the door. Hey. Open hey, the door where's now. Where's your supervisor? Do not put hands Open on me. Open the door now. You're being recorded. Do not put hands Open on me. Open the door now. Do yes, and you are being recorded from three different angles resisting arrest, as well as your failure to present and carry charge. Seriously, how do you hear being told you're under arrest and say no to it? Even most First Amendment auditors know not to resist arrest. Do not put hands on open me. Open the door now. It's open already. Who do you Sir, work for? Step out. I do not step have. Out of the car. I do not have. Step out of the car. A contract to do business with you. You're gonna have to provide your supervisor. Step you're, out of the car. You're assaulting me. You are step assaulting me. Step out of the car. Me. You realize you're assaulting me. Do you understand me. what you're doing right now? I do now. not understand. You are under arrest. Understand. You are resisting arrest. I do not understand. Step out of the car. You're assaulting me. Step out I of the car. I do not have a contract. Of course he doesn't understand what he's doing. He wouldn't be in this situation if he did. And you can't say you're the one being assaulted when you are the one resisting arrest. That's not how assault works. No, I, you are administering my property without right. You're administering my property. Are these body Step cameras on? Step out of the on? car. Okay, Step listen out to of me. The car. You are administering my property without man, I'm right. I'm going to give you one more chance. I am Get not a driver. Car. I am a man traveling on the road, and you do not have consent to Get touch my car. property. Where is... No, I do not... I gave you my passport. Read yep. the... No, listen. Get out of the car. Read, read. But they didn't ask you for your passport. They asked you for your license, registration and insurance, which you still haven't provided. It's not a crime. It is. I'm not a driver. I'm a Get traveler. I am a traveler in my private property. I do not have a contract to do business with your corporation. You only have jurisdiction under Uniform Commercial Code, which is Get for out of the car. drivers. I'm not a driver, I'm a traveler. I've been very, no, I'm not going to step out of the car because I do not give you consent. I'm not doing business with you. If you shoot me with that taser, that's assault and battery. No, dude, no. This officer has every legal right to use his taser if you are resisting arrest. Why do you think they have them? But the officer has decided for whatever reason to use a bit of restraint here. I guess it's your lucky day. And I will sue you because no, I'm not a driver. I have not committed ben, a crime. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You don't have authority over me. I do. I get don't out of the work. Car. I do not work get for your corporation. Get out of the car. I do not work for your corporation. I do not work for your corporation. Get out of the car. I do not work for your corporation. You're being recorded, and I will sue you. So how about you get your supervisor here, and if get he out wants of the to car put, now. if he wants to put hands get on out of me, the car now. then your supervisor can put hands on me. I'm sorry, but you don't get to choose how this goes down. If the officer wants you out of the vehicle, you get out. Do you really think the supervisor is going to turn up and side with you on this? You're failing to present ID when requested and resisting arrest. That's a crime in Oregon. I'm not, resisting, the, yeah, I'm not resisting an arrest because get I'm not under arrest. I have not committed you are a crime. Under arrest. I haven't committed a crime. I gave you my identification, which is my passport. Emily, just get on with, the radio. No, the passport says that you are here. Get by, out of the car. Read the passport. Get out of the car. Read the passport. It says that you are supposed to let me go without hindrance or delay. I Your passport doesn't apply to this situation, dude. 
I know what it says. You don't. Right. Read the passport. Get out of the car. Read the passport. Get out of the car, I, man. I'm not doing this no. with you right now. Listen, get out of the car. If you I are get, under arrest. If I get out of the car, I give you consent, and I do not give you consent. So you're going to have to shoot me with that taser. Get out and, of the car. And assault me. Get out of the car. You're going to assault me, and I'm going to sue you because I haven't committed a crime. You are committing a no, crime I'm right not. now. It's called failure to carry and Fail no, and right I, now, you've passport. been advised that you're under arrest. My passport is you've good You've been advised enough. you're under arrest, and you are resisting arrest. I'm not arrest. Get out of the arrest. car. I haven't committed a crime. Get out you're, of the you're car. You're a road pirate. You're Get a road out of the pirate. Car, man. You're He's a road pirate. You're, uh, you're Get out of the car. You're enforcing commerce, and I'm not engaged in commerce. I'm a man traveling on the land. Are you going to resist? You're going to get. I'm not easy. resisting. You are. I'm resisting. You are to resisting. You. No, you're administering my property without get right. Get out of the you car. You don't have the right. You get don't. Out of the you car. need to get a supervisor down here right now because this gentleman is assaulting me, and you're co you're complicit. You're complicit in assault. Sir. You're complicit. Get a supervisor. Sir. I'll wait. I'll wait He's patiently. Good. He's Get your way. hands off of me because I'm I mean, not. I've already advised you. I'm You're not under leaving. Arrest. I'm not under arrest. You're under arrest for what crime? Name I the already, crime. I've already told you. Like, not four presenting, times. even though I gave it you my U.S. passport. My U.S. pass. License. I'm not a driver. It shows. I'm not a driver. Were you able to tell that I'm engaged in commerce from the road as you were passing by? That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. No. Out of the car. I'm not an Uber. You only have jurisdiction over Uber drivers, bus drivers. Yes. Sir, I'm a man the traveling on the land. Correct. No. Get out of the car. You are a corporation. No, corporations the cannot car. do business with men. They can only do business with other corporations. You're and a driver. A yes, you are. You're the city of Coquille, right? You're not sheriff. Call the sheriff or I'm going to call 911. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's not Get true. Wait for your supervisor. No, we're not waiting. You are under arrest. I'm not under arrest. You are I under haven't arrest. Committed a crime. I have not committed a crime. Car. You're you in big trouble. Correct. You're in big trouble. Grab his other arm, Emily. No, you're not. Yep. No. Sir, grab your arm. You're Get out of the I'm, Sir. I do not consent to the Sir. assault. I do not consent you to you assaulting me. I do not consent Sir. to you assaulting me. I do. This is dangerous for you. You're in the highway. I'm trying to help you. Sir, I am desperately trying to help you. It's not the cops in desperate need of help. They are not the ones escalating a traffic citation into what this eventually becomes. But you're just too ignorant to understand that. Well, I'm trying to help you. No. You do have jurisdiction over no, you don't. The you don't have. No, you. You're not the state police. You just got. You're on record right hey, now okay, saying that. that is okay. No, the it's not okay. Police do have jurisdiction over all this. Mm, no, you don't. You only have jurisdiction over the incorporated yep. area called the That's city of Coquille. You have only jurisdiction over the incorporated city the known as. Get out of the car. Where's your supervisor? He will get here and wait, deal with things when he gets here. No, no, we're not. Waiting. I don't give you consent. Get out of the car. I do not give you consent. I do not give you consent to touch my person. I. Are they asking you for consent? Do you know why? Because they don't need it. I'm waiting for your supervisor. If you break my arm, then I'll have your home. I promise you, you're out of line and you don't have jurisdiction over man. You have jurisdiction over drivers. If, I, if, driver. if, I'm a, if I'm engaged in Uber services, I'm a driver. If not, I'm traveling in my private property and you're on record. I'm not armed, I'm not a threat. I've been respectful, I've been kind, but you've assaulted me. You both have. You don't have jurisdiction over me. And the passport, first paragraph says that you are to let me go because there is no emergency. Those emergency lights are for emergencies only. Where's the emergency? You were doing 80 in a 55. If you don't think that's enough of an emergency to use them, then you probably shouldn't be on the road. We all know how dangerous speeding is and how speed prevention is a big part of a police officer's job. You guys are toast. Especially you. You're okay. You're okay. You're nice. But you, sir, have a, an authority. You have an authority issue. And you're assaulting me. And I promise you this will not be the last that you hear of me. Because I'm not being arrested today. I promise you I'm not. He really does sound confident about that. But it's just another terrible prediction by a misinformed sovereign citizen. You have jurisdiction over drivers, truck drivers, 
bus drivers, taxi cab drivers, Uber drivers, uniform commercial code is not law. And you're on record and you should be ashamed of yourself. And I asked you nicely just to bring your supervisor. Spikes, I'm not leaving, you're ridiculous. Says the guy spouting pseudo-law. You're full of fear. And you ask your female partner to help you get control over a man. Because you know I'm right. Emasculation. The act of weakening or depriving a man of his identity as a man. And here I am thinking soft sits couldn't stoop any lower. Look, you almost caused an accident. That's what you should be doing. You have jurisdiction over that truck that almost rear-ended that vehicle. You should be paying more attention to your own jurisdiction besides men traveling. And if you thought you were right, you would have tased me. That's no, it's called I don't want to use force on somebody, man. Yeah, I'm I, trying to do this no, stuff. you're not trying. I'm trying to do this no, being very peaceful. Here. Then you should have read the passport. First paragraph says. I'm not going to argue with you, man. I, I know. I know. Yeah, the, you know the, the code. Says. No, you know the code. You know the codes and the statutes and the ordinances. You know the codes and the statutes and the ordinances. Well, he has already demonstrated that he knows the law better than you. He also had the right to tase you for resisting but he made a judgment call on how much of a threat you were. That's good policing in my book. Go ahead, squeeze harder. I can't feel it. Hey, I'm telling you. Do no, you no, I don't give you consent. You do not have consent. I'm also a business owner in Coos County. Okay. So you guys think that I don't know the law? You guys think that's what's happened in the last year has it forced me to learn the law has it forced me to learn what my rights are as a business owner that's commerce that's doing business how does owning a business correlate to you knowing the law that doesn't make any sense and if you knew the law and your rights like you said you wouldn't be resisting arrest or spouting sovereign citizen word salad at the cop you guys think I haven't educated myself while you've been busy collecting a paycheck? And I appreciate your service. I used to work ambulance service for 12 years, so I know about emergency services, and I know those lights are only for emergency purposes. You declared an emergency upon my private property, and I'm telling you that you're dismissed. There's no emergency. So the fact that you're still assaulting me means that you're out of jurisdiction and you're out of line, and I'm on record. And if you let go of my arm right now, and I'm not gonna do anything to you, this is unnecessary. I'd appreciate it if you let go. And I've already told you, you're under arrest. I'm, I'm not under arrest of, of anything. I haven't committed a crime. Car. You have a resisted arrest. That, neither of so which is a crime. Now I'm waiting for somebody else to get here so we can pull you out No, of the you car. don't get to just arrest people willy-nilly. You don't get to just declare an emergency upon vehicles on the road willy-nilly and then say it's an arrest. I gave you my information, that's a valid passport. Again, the cop didn't ask you for your passport, he asked you for your license, registration and insurance. Which you still haven't done. That's a US issued passport, federally recognized. What is your deal other than you have an authority issue? Young man. The only one demonstrating authority issues here is you. It's all you've talked about. And what's with the young man? You're about the same age. Here's your backup. Perfect, Sheriff. Yeah, you won't be saying that in a minute. Show my passport. First paragraph in the passport. Open it up on the first page. You do not have consent 
to remove me from my vehicle. It's not permissible. I'd rather not. Okay, it's not a request. Step out. But also, why do I have to step out? Because you're going to be placed under arrest for failed carrying present. You have to carry a driver's license and present it when asked by law enforcement. Okay. It's state law. Okay, but first of all, I'm not a driver. You're are operating we, the vehicle. Step out. Are we in agreement that I am a man? You're and operating also, the vehicle. Step out. Am I in agreement? Are we in agreement that I am a man? I don't know your gender, sir. I'm not going to assume that. I'm telling you that I am a man. Okay. <laughs> Nobody can say cops in Oregon aren't progressive. Okay. Are we in agreement? Sure. Did you see my passport? I did not. I gave both of these. Where's your passport? She's got my passport. I asked Where you to, to show it to him. The first paragraph on the inside of the passport. Passenger side. They've been holding it hostage. Can you state your name and badge number for the record? Because you never have. And your policy says you're supposed to identify yourself at least in three Officer ways. Higher. Badge number 603. 603-H-E-Y-E-R. Thank you very much for your cooperation. It's a shame the same can't be said of you. And no, police officers don't have to identify themselves in three different ways. You really have gone down the rabbit hole. So you know when this is all over, it's going on YouTube. I know a lot of people too, so it'll, you'll definitely go viral if you've ever wanted to do that. Oh, I think the video will go viral, but not for the reasons you think. So you have a valid driver's license, dude? I know. Then why wouldn't you give it to them? It's not the point. What's the point? The point is, is I don't give consent to my property being administered without right. And this gentleman declared an emergency upon my private vehicle while I was this traveling. Is, no, it's not. This is all crazy internet stuff. No, it's stuff, not yeah, internet it's, stuff. It's, it's what not, this it's is. Not what the law is in the state of Oregon. This is not the law. I didn't break a law. Show me a contract that says I have to do business. You, you're required no, by I'm, the state of Oregon to provide a proof of insurance on your vehicle. When I'm a you driver. Have, do you have proof of insurance? Yes, I I do have proof of insurance. Great, can we see it? No, because I have to go okay, through you're the... you're going to get a citation no, for you to tow your car. No, I have, I have you're all state. To help you no, you're not trying to help me because you're not understanding what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm not a driver. You are a driver. You're operating a motor vehicle. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. I'm operating an automobile. And legally, there is a difference because... There is no difference between a motor vehicle and an automobile. They're basically the same thing. You've just been getting your definitions from outdated sources, like early editions of Black's Law Dictionary, which is not law. You need to be looking at the definition section of this statute that covers motor vehicles in Oregon. You're uh, operating a motor vehicle. Uh, no, I'm not. The no, I'm traveling on required. the land. I'm a man you're traveling on the land. I'm a so if you don't want to follow them, they're going to write you tickets. They're going to tell show you me, the, show me the law. It's and an it's not. Bro. That's a code. That's it's, a statute. Oregon yeah, what? Oregon statute. statute. A no. Okay, well, have fun getting your car towed. I don't tell you. Listen, sheriff, deputy, you have an obligation. I do. Yes, to to educate them because they're out of jurisdiction. They're working laws I'm working under. But except I didn't break a law. Show me the law. It's a code. It's a statute that are only subject to drivers. That's no. bus driver, Uber driver. I'm not for hire. I'm not for hire. I agree to disagree on that because that's not how it works. That is how it works. You're just not upholding the law. No amount of word salad will change things here. You don't argue law at the side of the road. That's why we have places where you can go argue your pseudo-legal theories and lose. It's called court. You're not upholding the law. I didn't break a law. Show me the contract. Show me the contract. That's all I'm asking. Where's the contract? Can I have my property back? Stopped. So I can't have my property because I've been stopped? Not yet, no. 
Yep, that's exactly how I feel when I see another right to travel video posted to YouTube. Go ahead, go and step out of the car. You're under arrest for interfering. Are you the supervisor? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Yes. Interfering with what? Step out of the car. Interfering step out of the car. Step out. I'm gonna... Okay, so what happened next? Well, he was arrested and charged with failure to carry and present, resisting arrest and interfering, when all he had to do was present his valid driving license, registration and insurance, and he would have been on his way with a citation. But soft sits have always got to make life difficult for themselves. Anyway, I got this video from Arte. He featured it recently, so head on over and watch his version. And don't forget to subscribe while you're there. He has some awesome content. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, then please like, share and do all that good stuff. Take care and I will catch you in the next one.